Italy manager Luciano Spalletti has revealed how the squad was left distraught and upset by the sudden withdrawal of Sandro Tonali and Nicolo Zaniolo from the team amid reports of an illegal betting investigation. Tonali, who plays for Newcastle, and Zaniolo, who is on loan at Aston Villa from Galatasaray, were removed from the Italy camp last week by the authorities. They are reportedly being investigated by the Turin Public Prosecutor's Office for their alleged involvement in a gambling ring. Spalletti said that the incident was traumatic for the team, who had to say goodbye to their teammates and friends before their friendly match against Cameroon and Lens France on Monday night. He said that he gave them a hug and assured them of his support. It was traumatic for the team because we had the authorities almost in the dressing room, and so everyone was surprised and upset he told Sky Sport Italia. We had almost a whole day when we said goodbye to them, and we were able to give them a hug before they went home. The players themselves were absolutely distraught because when you're part of a national team everyone is very tight, and after the results you can get, it's the one thing you can keep for life, the lasting relationships. Spalletti also said that gambling is a vice and a form of temptation that can affect young players. He said that he will try to help Tenali and Zaniolo to overcome their problems and to resume their careers. Gambling is a form of temptation, he said. It's a vice and these things happen, and we are committed to speaking to these players. We will continue to keep an eye on them and we'll try to provide them with all the help and support that we can to make sure they can go back to do what they enjoy the most. Italy won their friendly match against Cameroon 2-0, with goals from Federico Chiesa and Lorenzo Insigne. They will face England at Wembley on Tuesday, in a repeat of the Euro 2020 final, which they won on penalties. Tenali and Zignolo will miss that game, as well as Italy's remaining World Cup qualifiers against Albania and San Marino in November. Their future at their clubs is also uncertain as they await the outcome of the investigation. Tenali, 23, joined Newcastle from AC Milan in 2022 and has scored three goals in ten games this season. Zignolo, 24, joined Aston Villa on loan from Galatasaray in 2023 and has scored four goals in nine games this season.